Hello, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com. Today I have a SL55 convertible for a local customer here and um, just wanted to show you the play and bearings on a supercharger and on police. It's a common issue uh, when bearing goes bad on supercharger clutch. It basically uh, breaks itself into pieces so it's not really nice. This one is not really super terrible but it already shows signs of play also the idler pulley and uh, tensioner pulley there are a little play in there so this is basically a quick video to show uh, what happens like uh, what's going on with these bearings sometimes you already hear it in the car so that's when it's pretty much late already to <clears throat> um, I mean it could be a lot of damage already made to the supercharger or pulleys, so you don't want to get to that point. Um, it's fairly um, easy to check if you have play in these bearings. So uh, what I was doing here is I was changing the whole sensor on the camshaft, which is back down in there. That's the sensor right there. So before I get to the sensor, I had to take pulleys out to get to the bolt. So at the same time, I had to take the belt out, and I looked at the play in bearings. So this is what I find. This is our idler pulley. This is the regular belt <coughs> idler pulley. This is a supercharger idler pulley. So for this this one right here, if you look closely, so I'm going to just have my phone against something here. There, so it's steady. As you can see, this pulley moves. That is another common problem. This bearing goes. Pulley starts to move more. So this one already moves. Can even hear it okay so bedding races are a little messed up so this is something I'm going to replace with new bearing this one has a little play to it mm, this one it's probably play on the shaft so I'll leave that alone this one is the bearing place so I'll replace that idler I mean that's the idler the tensioner for the supercharger this one I'm going to polish a little bit, but if you look at this one, again, I'm going to tie, uh, get my phone against something here. So, here let's say the phone is pressed against something so it's steady. Alright, so here it is. You see the pulley move? So this one is a little loose. And the biggest one is our supercharger itself. Now what we have here is we have this huge bearing here, which is Japanese made bearing. That's the one. And I want to show you the play in this one. If you look, uh, I mean, oh, let me get this thing. Okay, let me get the a better angle here. Bear with me for a second. Get the focus done. Uh, let me get the focus here. Okay, so here's a supercharger. You see the whole thing is moving up and down. You can move it up and down, so it's not really a good scenario. If you look up here. whole thing moves and makes noises while at it so try to do I mean obviously there is going to be a low play but I think to me this is the first indication where you actually have to consider replacing this bearing because um, you don't want to get it you don't want this to get worse because it plays I mean there is play in there I mean it moves so this whole thing no, this whole thing is moving. Try to get this thing at this angle right now. The whole assembly. That's the clutch though, but see how much it moves. It's not really nice. 
I mean, if it would be my car, I would not leave it just to replace the bearing. I mean, it's going to take a little bit of work, but still cheaper than this assembly is about $1,500. It's a whole clutch. And that's what Mercedes will sell you, the whole clutch assembly. So when it activates, you might have some chirping, some noises coming when supercharger activates above 1500 other pulleys are decent like this one it barely moves I feel like very little just a tiny bit ultimator back in there that thing is solid can't even move it well obviously crank we cannot move and what else we have here down under in there here's our, our water pump I mean no, I'm sorry this is the hydraulic pump Nothing. Zero play here. Right? Yeah, that thing is perfect. The tensioner pulley. This one has a little play to it as well. As you can see, it's moving a little bit. They will move here and there a little, but you know, obviously not the good scenario here. AC compressor. That thing moves a little bit too. I mean, I'm sorry I cannot make the video that low, but. The whole thing on the shaft a little bit, but again, there is permiss permitted play. I mean, that's just something that has to be there. Otherwise, it's all these bearings will seize up when they heat up. I mean, this has to be some room. But to me, this is just way too much. I mean, it's not super much, but it's at some point will fail. Moving up and down like such, that's gonna fail at some point. And same for this stuff I mean this thing is something else for this one I already ordered the bearing I'm gonna replace this one but no noises seems like it's spinning fine you know both of them but play like this is going to develop into bigger play so we want to proactively replace that bearing Supercharger bearing probably would be a good idea to do as well. I have source for these, so I can get these in and remove it. To get this out, you gotta obviously remove the whole assembly and um, take the snap ring out and press the bearing out. So that's how it's done. But other than that, the car is nice and you know everything else seems to be in order. So that's what I found here. A uh, sensor is brand new, as you can see the color of the plastic. It's a new sensor, the connector. So this is something that the codes keep coming back from, open circuit on the sensor. So we replace the sensor. And brackets and everything will go back in uh, once I, I'm done with these pulleys. Um, and that's basically all. This is a supercharger on 5.5 liter AMG motor. Very common. Lots of motors found in E classes, SLs, S55s, M113 with, with the blower on it. So, and well, obviously, like some oil leaks around the positive crankshaft ventilation gaskets. I mean, there isn't, there are no gaskets, they're just um, silicone. So, yeah, that's a common thing on these cars as well. I mean, you got the oil seepage all over. I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but something you want to repair so you don't want no oil smell all over the place also hydraulic situation <clears throat> you do want to change the uh, filter and flush the system that's going to be done after I fix valve block because the car is sinking on one side I'm gonna rebuild put new seals in it better material seals okay so this is it basically that's the plane supercharger bearings I mean, supercharger bearing and idler bearing and tensioner bearing. Um, for any questions, visit my website at restoringmercedes.com. This was Victor. Thank you for watching.